I'm so glad you could join me for prayer today. We're on the last scripture from the Sermon on the Mount. So hear these words from Matthew 7, 24 through 28. Every then, then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on a rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish one who builds their house on sand. The rain falls and the floods come and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was its fall. Now when Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowd were astonished at his teaching for Jesus taught them as one having authority and not as their scribes. So I invite you to close your eyes and to take a deep breath. I want you to sit with that storm, that rain that is pounding down. Holy One, no matter how much faith we have, no matter how much we believe in you, the storms are going to come. Whether we have no faith, whether we're full of doubts, whether we don't know what to make of the mystery that is you, the rain is going to come. And this week, Lord, this week, God, there has been so much rain. So we pray for those places full of rain in Saskatchewan, Canada, where 750 bodies of children were found on a former Catholic residential school for indigenous children. Adding to the horror of the already discovered remains of 250 children near British Columbia. Holy One, we know we are not blameless in this storm for there are residential boarding schools here in the U.S. And will there be bodies found there? Holy One, the storms come. In Ethiopia, the military admitted responsibility for a deadly airstrike in the Tigray region. Health workers said the attack killed at least 64 people, including children. Holy when the storms come, we pray for Miami Beach, where that building collapsed in the night. And there are so many unknowns, so many unknowns about who is responsible, about how this could happen, and so much mourning and loss for those who have not been found or have been found and are no longer living. Only when the storms keep coming. A United Nations panel is calling for Australia's Great Barrier Reef to be added to a list of World Heritage Sites that are endangered. The reef has suffered three major coral bleaching events in the past five years caused by marine heat waves. Only when the storms keep coming. This week, researchers warned that in, by 2040, 40% 40 of cotton produced in regions in the world, in India, the U.S., Brazil, and China, are likely to see their growing season shortened by rising heat, while drought could hit half the crop. Holy One, the storms keep coming. In Pakistan, in the Kashmir, Increasing drought and climate change have not only cut wheat and corn harvests by 40% in the last decade, but have resulted in closure of 90% of the water mills that produce flour from those crops. Holy One, the storms keep coming. 
There's a heat wave burning its way through the United States, leaving drought in its wake. And there are other places in the U.S. experiencing storms that are flooding. Holy One, how do we respond to these storms in life? How do we respond to the danger that comes? For the rain is going to fall. And yet there's hope. In Ghana, they aim to plant five million trees in a single day to help regrow the country's lost forests and curb the impacts of climate change. And yet there's hope. We see all those young people every Friday out with their signs in front of government buildings, blocking entrances to parliament, begging, pleading, demanding that leaders listen to the crying of our home, a home that is being battered by storms. They give us hope. Holy One, we stop here in the midst of the storms and we lift up to you the storms that are present in our own lives. We lift up to you our family and friends that are suffering, whether it's from an illness, a disease, whether it's from old age or dementia, we lift up to you those family members on our hearts in the midst of a storm. May you be their rock. And we lift up to you those of our family members who are lost and lonely, who are addicted, who are in so much pain and are crying out. May you show them where the rock is. Show them the place and people that can comfort them during the midst of the storm. And Holy One, we pray for ourselves. We pray for the storms that are impacting us. May you be present as our rock. Amen.